Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I am Joe Prisco. I am joined by Jeremiah August for our next um, part of our Blue Devils at Home series. So, Jeremiah, first off, how are you doing? I'm going fine. What about you? Doing very well. Doing very well. Um, did you end up going back home uh, to social distance once school got to... Uh, uh, can't, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. How's, I mean, I'm right there. How's everything going in Lafayette? Uh, it's good. I mean, some people still doing some dumb stuff, not uh, <laughs> like not being precautious, like taking precautions for other people. So, like this, starting to make some of the gyms close. Like we can't even run full. Okay. Understandable. I mean, hopefully people can kind of get their behaviors under control so we can get back to actually real life and whatnot. So um, how'd your uh, online classes and finals end up going for you? Oh, it went fine. I got everything going. No problem. Excellent. Excellent. Um, how's your family doing? Everybody doing good. Um, just staying out of the way. My mom, my dad, I'm going to work every day. Okay. Um, Let's see, I know that um, you were recovering from an injury, so that might affect how your summer has gone so far. But um, how has your summer gone? Uh, been so so. so, so. Um, you mentioned that you've been playing a little basketball. What else have you been kind of getting into, um, you know, now that you're back home? Um, I've just been doing a lot with my friends I grew up with. We all just been hanging together. Just trying to do stuff before we all wind up going back to school and then to take take away from okay. how much we get to see each other. Understandable. Um, have you been uh, doing rehab and whatnot for your injury? Or yeah, I've been doing rehab. Um, like right before they, right before last week, which is whenever they stopped the full court. Uh, that's all we were doing. After we all work out, my uh, my homeboy, and my, we'll go to the gym, get a couple runs in, play until we lose. Once we lose, it just all depends how my knee feels after. Yeah, understandable. Um, how are you feeling like most days? Are you feeling uh, like well, or you still have a couple more months or weeks of recovery for you? Like it, just, it just depends. Like you see, I can do basic stuff and with it. It's just uh like certain ways I'll turn. Like let's say we running and I gotta turn to open up on this side. I'm not gonna feel it. But if, right after I open up I gotta make a quick move, then yeah. I'll feel it. Okay. Yeah it's under it's under still some of the quick uh, twitch you know, ones are kind of uh, you know might give you a little bit of a bothersome. Um, obviously, you're doing things to prepare physically for the upcoming season. How about mentally? How have you been doing mentally to prepare yourself for it? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, I don't prepare mentally for a season. I just, as soon as they come, I'm always ready to play. Okay. Um, have you been able to keep in touch with any of your teammates uh, through this whole social distancing thing? Yeah. Um, uh, text message. <laughs> okay, text messages. Okay, no problem. And I know that uh, you also post on social media on a semi regular basis as well. Um, so <laughs> I see. Uh -huh. you so you know, I see you a fairly active. Uh, I, I believe on Instagram, uh, you know, and I've seen some stuff of you from Twitter as well. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's the times, but uh, you know every, everything that you've been posting has been uh, pretty comical. I think that um, you, one of them you actually participated in our, uh, our uh, workout Wednesdays. So you posted a video as well, and I yeah, it. Uh, my boy put me in it. it he he had did it, so he put me in it. At first, I wasn't gonna do it because uh, I just don't I don't see why. But then he was like, "Come on, they don't do that. They do it." So I do. Um, you know, while being at home, have you picked up any new hobbies, books, TV shows, anything else like that? I'm not gonna lie to you. While I've been home, 
Like, I just picked up the hobby that I always did, like, even before I got hurt. Um, just going to the gym, going to the gym, and going to hoop, and go work out. <laughs> but by the only thing, oh, and I, I've been playing the game, so that's all I do. Those okay. two things are the thing. <laughs> Um, what's the first thing you're kind of looking forward to doing um, once you're no longer or we're no longer having the social distance? No longer having the social distance? Yeah, when, when we're no longer having the social distance, what's maybe something you haven't been able to do that you want to be able to do um, before, you know, that, you, you, that you've missed doing? Man, nah, like, we'll, whenever, um, before this happened, whenever we would all be free, we we'll always go eat out to the dogs. And right now we can't do that because <laughs> it's going to put us outside. I'm not trying to sit outside. No, no, eat. no, no. Because cause it's been hot. It's been very hot lately. I'm not. Mm -mm. You be eating my wings and sweating? No. <laughs> so um, how long and when did you first start playing basketball? Ooh, I, like, I first started playing when I was uh, – 13. Because, like, I mean, I could count, like, 11 and 12, but, like, I wasn't really into it. I just was playing just to step out. But I really got into it when I was 13. Okay. Um, did you fall in love with the game immediately, or was it, you know, kind of an acquired um, You see, I, I, don't, I really don't know because, like, when I was 13, I was, I was in eighth grade. And I was just happy I made the team for school. Okay. okay. So, um, I want to say for me to truly actually fall in love with that probably was some, my sophomore or junior year. Okay. And obviously, I mean, you're six foot seven, six foot eight inches tall, right, Jeremiah? So, are you always a tall kid? Or, uh... I was always talking to everybody. Else. Yeah. <laughs> They'll probably have like one person that was about the same height as me. Okay. Um, I, I know that, you know, before you uh, came to Dillard, you uh, were at uh, Fort uh, Scott Community College in uh, Kansas. Was that your first ever time to Kansas? And how was that for you? That was my first time in Kansas. And the spot that I was in, man, look, I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen no cow, no, no uh, deers running on the street like that. Thing, thing was active, always on. And then at night, whenever you, like, if you ask for them to deliver you food at school, some of them be coming on the campus. <laughs> so, yeah, that'd be a whole new experience for you. And also, like, uh, experience some of the winters there, too, as well, right? Oh, I ain't lying. In the snow, I had fun, though. In the snow, I had fun. Like, Was it? Was it the first time yeah. that you experienced snow up uh, up close, or had you uh, like, previously like hot hot snowed? Yes, because we had snowballs. Okay, okay. I ain't never had no snowballs like. <laughs> um, growing up, did you play any other sports besides basketball? I played football. Did you? Okay. What position did you play in football? Oh, you see, I was I was big. Like I was I was, I was big. So I was on the line. Okay. I played uh, defensive end. Okay. And just on the line. Everything on the line, that's what I did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you enjoy hitting people, huh? As a, as a defensive lineman getting to the quarterback? <laughs> Whenever uh, I was mad, yeah. <laughs> so. Because you can take it out of somebody. You playing pool. <laughs> oh, definitely. You could definitely take out some of your aggression. So. Um, how did you first decide to attend Dillard? Well, whenever it came, like, you see, at my other school, a coach really didn't know. Uh, he was a good coach, but, like, I feel like I he could have let me register my freshman year because I got hurt when okay. he was doing the uh, – you know what a program is? No, I don't. What is that? That's like, uh, you know how they got the NBA players and they were playing like yeah, the yeah. Little summer stuff. Oh yeah, we was in one. We was in it, and like we, uh, I went up to shoot a ball and somebody ran under me. Under oh no! Me. And so I fell on my knee and he fell on top of me. 
And so I told him the whole season, like, my knee was hurt. I knew it was hurt because I couldn't jump off of I couldn't jump off of that side. Like, so he still, he's for like, it's probably growing things or whatever. So later on in that season, still couldn't play. Like, I ain't lying to you. I probably have, I probably had like five, five or four double digit games. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the rest, like, I really, really couldn't do nothing. So, come and find out. Like if it, you it come to the end of the season, and like Nick, Nick had uh had asked me what I was doing with school, I was like, to be honest, I don't know because like I didn't know what was on my yeah. leg. Yeah, I I was thinking about just not going back to school at all because like my own some other stuff happened in the summer dealing with my family. Lost a couple of my close uh, family members, so I was like, probably just might not go back. Yeah. But you know, Nick like my brother, so he um uh, he got me to still still go, and uh, cause Noel had told him he wanted me to play, so I wound up signing. And at first, I didn't know if I would have stick with it or not, but. I knew I would have like went like because I didn't. I knew if I was go go to school, I for sure was coming. Yeah. It's just like I didn't know if I would have just been like, yeah. I still want to go by the time it's time to go. So it was just a lot of trials and tribulations that almost made me just be like, I didn't want to go to school. Well, we're we're <laughs> glad to have you there. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. Um, what's your favorite part about being at Dillard? And also, what's your favorite part about being part of the basketball program? Favorite part about being at Dillard? Hmm. And, to be honest with you, everybody seemed very close. Everybody. See, I'm out of school. Everybody wasn't as close as this. Not at all. Um, for the basketball team, though, I want to say the best part about that like I can say we actually I actually can see people actually want to play against each other like being competitive in the, the practice not everybody want to do that like everywhere okay it's very competitive you guys are pretty close knit as well I'm sure uh, you know you guys spend quite a bit of time together during the season so <laughs> um Let's see. Um, obviously, you're not the same person that you were when you first arrived. So as you look at yourself, how have you, uh, you know, uh, changed since you arrived on campus here? I don't, I don't know. I guess I, I don't know. Uh, I really, I really okay. don't know that one. No problem. Had you heard of Dillard before you started to attend here? I mean, obviously Nick was here, but um, before that, had had you had the connection uh, to Dillard before? Um, my my senior year, Coach Noel had came to the uh, he had came to Karenko to the gym before. That was about the only time I okay I knew about. It. No problem. Um, we'll get into a couple of your favorites. Uh, do you have a favorite actor or actress? Oh, Jamie Foxx. Okay. But you see, it, it's a, like, I like Jamie Foxx, but I like uh, Denzel, too, though. All right, Denzel. Do you have a favorite movie? Favorite movie? Mmm, it's a mixture, but I know my favorite movie is uh, Love and Basketball. Okay. It's a good one. I've heard that from a couple of people that love basketball is one that they enjoy. Um, how about TV show? Do you have a t- favorite TV show? No, I don't, I don't really watch TV like that. Okay. Like, if, I'm, if I'm not outside, I'm like, wow, I'll say, I'll be on my game. Okay. How about, how about this one for you? Do you have a favorite meal? Favorite meal? Um, I would say... Uh, crawfish A2C. Okay. Um, who is your favorite athlete? Favorite athlete? Uh, 
favorite athlete? Yes. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, okay. <laughs> um, so what has been, in your opinion, your best class that you've had so far at Dillard? Or your, your most favorite class you've had so far? Probably my math class. I forgot okay. what was it. I forgot the name of it. It was in the first. It was in the first semester. I don't okay. Remember. No problem. So, you know, what has been, in your opinion, what is the best meal that we have on campus here? That's a hard question. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> No problem. How about this one? Do you have a favorite meal off campus? Off campus? Yes. Like, when I'm home? Um, yeah. Oh, you could be home or maybe some in the New Orleans area, some place that you like to eat when you're around here. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of that place, but me and Nick have just went and tried something. It's on the side of a, a smoothie thing. But it's right on the side of it, but, like, it's a, it's a seafood place. I, I can't remember that name. I just know where it's at. No problem. But that, that that's for sure. I wanted to place ball put the right amount of season on. <laughs> so this is going to be about your teammates. Um, who, in your opinion, is the funniest of your teammates? Man, Malik. Malik. <laughs> is he got a dry sense of humor, or is it? Yeah, you know, he's just always cracking jokes. Uh, always, but. Ball is hilarious. <laughs> How about um, who is the neatest or maybe the most organized of all your teammates? Hmm. Is someone that maybe has his locker a little bit, you know, neater than anyone else, or someone that's you know has to you know you know be dressed a certain way or anything else like that? Zay, definitely Zay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. This is gonna be a kind of a difficult one, but if you could have dinner with any historical figure or figures, um, who would you like to have dinner with? Historical? Yeah, historical. Mm. Man. I want some Martin Luther King. Okay, that's a great that's a great answer. So that's that's one we've gotten a couple of times. So um <laughs> Do you have any hidden or unknown talents that people don't know about that you'd like people to know about you? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have a certain pregame ritual that you go through before every game? Uh, like, I'll sit down in my locker probably and just, just pray. Okay. That's about it. Right, no problem. It gets you into the right mindset and whatnot. Um, so I know right now, obviously, you're in school, um, but once you graduate, what's the thing you're looking forward to spending that first real paycheck on? My family. Family? Okay. Um, say you get inducted into the Hall of Fame, whether it's your work Hall of Fame, your high school Hall of Fame, or you know, the Dillard Hall of Fame. Um, who would you thank in your Hall of Fame speech? For so sure, God, but my mom, my dad, my brothers, and like the coaches that came with everything with me along the way. Okay. Um, what was your first ever job? Huh? What was your first ever job? Um, well, my first one, like, um, it was an internship a program I was in in uh, high school. And uh, it was at the unemployment office. Okay. It's a good one. It's a good one. Um, is there a place that you, I know that, you know, you obviously were in Kansas, you've been in Louisiana. Um, has there uh, been some places either in the United States or around the world you'd like to see that you haven't seen yet? The Bahamas. I want to go to the Bahamas. Okay. <laughs> Um, if you're bragging on your hometown, um, what are some things that you brag about, you know, when you talk about your hometown? Right now, it's not too hot. Because <laughs> people don't know how to sweep this stuff. 
Yeah. But, but you know, say but, say uh, before this Toronto, like when you're talking back home, it's oh, this is where I'm from. I'm, this is what we're this is what we're good at. This uh, we 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 got uh we got some good food. I know that. Like, it, yeah, you come out you you're the you're most likely one to stay because of the food. But we got a couple people, you know, that do different stuff that they're good at that certain cities out here are not able to do. Okay. Um, what is one thing you've always wanted to learn how to do that you haven't yet, but in the future, it's one of your goals? Learn how to do. Oh, um, man, one of my, well, one of my uncles, they know how to, uh, like, they can read certain energy and, like, I don't know how, but, like, they can tell different vibes around them. And so, like, I want to be able to do that. I can do it a little bit, but, like, it's not as good. Like, they, like, they don't even have to, you don't even have to come exactly around them. You could be in your car. They could be in the house. They can feel it. Okay, they wow. So, so, I'm, I'm so do that. They've got a, a good. They got a good sense. So it seems like okay. Um, say if they're gonna make a movie about your life, um, what actor would play the part of you? Actor play the part of me. Hmm. Probably uh. This I would be able to do. I will. This okay. I will. No, no problem. Um, what's one thing that maybe people often misunderstand about you? And a lot. <laughs> or it can be more than people don't, one. People, people don't understand. Like they, they misunderstand that everything I've been through caused me to have certain precautions to different situations mm -hmm. and like some people just expect me to be open yeah it don't work like that yeah you, you've been shaped by the things that have happened around you and it's affected like you know the future for you how you have how, how your outlook is on things how you can be cautious and what so i can understand that um, um what is your know, one thing that you could not live without my mom your mom okay yeah, it's a good answer. Um, how about this? Um, what's something that maybe people think looks cool, but you think is kind of ridiculous? Hmm. It looks cool, but I think that's ridiculous. Oh, probably, probably going to every party that's not even Every party, <laughs> like, yeah, not even everybody have fun at the party. Like, you know, just go to every party just because it, it's a party. It's probably it. Okay. Um, if you could put three things from your life in a time capsule, what would those three things be? A time capsule? Why? Yep. Like, yes, you're going burying to the ground and they're going to uncover, like, say, 30 years from now. Like, and you want to kind of represent yourself. Person, my personality. So, uh, how much I care for other people, okay. <laughs> and my love for the game. Okay, good answers. Um, so you know, this is my last question for you. I appreciate you answering my question so far. Um, what is your major right now, Jeremiah? Business. Business. Okay, and uh, what? is your career aspirations. What would you like to do once you graduate from Dillon? To be honest with you, I feel if I could get myself at least to 90, I could I feel I'm good enough to go either overseas uh, or the G League or possibly the, uh, possibly the NBA, but okay. Um, if if that don't work, I can mm -hmm. at least say I tried. 
And yeah. like with the businesses, I can just start my own business. Okay. Yeah, you want to at least give you know, uh, professional basketball the first opportunity, and then you can kind of go from there. Um, is there any particular business you're kind of looking that you you'd like to start or something? You know, creative ideas that you've got new limit about in your head that you said, you know what, you know, or do you not want to tell us right now because someone might steal it from you? <laughs> most likely that. One. Okay. It's most definitely that. One. <laughs> okay, so you're thinking more more like a private business sort of thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, those are all my questions for you. I appreciate you taking the time. Um, I, I wish you, you know, nothing but the best going forward. You know, can't wait to get you back on campus and, um, you know, stay safe this summer so we all can, can get back on campus. So <laughs> thanks, Jeremiah. I appreciate it.